Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Chad here and I wanted to share with you uh, kind of a coronavirus update. As we head for that uh, first weekend in September when we're gathering in person again at our Sweetwater campus, I wanted to share with you some, uh, some things I've been thinking about as people have asked me over and over and over again, why are we not yet meeting in person? Uh, whether it's in the grocery store or at a recent prayer event or uh, just uh, passing through town, people have asked me, hey, Pastor, uh, you know, we can't wait to get back to service. Why can't we go ahead and meet? And, and here's what I've been sharing with them and what I want to share with you, sort of the reason that we are meeting again the 1st of September in person. Uh, there, there's several reasons, really, that uh, fit into this. The, the first one is the health and safety of our congregation and our community. Uh, we care about people, and as the coronavirus cases were spiking, we decided to go to online only again in July. And as we prayed about when to start back again, we said, love is patient, and, and we want to be patient. Even though, just like you, we desire to gather together, we desire to worship in person, we understand that uh, protecting people's health is very important, and we want to take that seriously. The second reason is uh, uh, a little bit different, and maybe you aren't aware of this, but Calvary is a church that relies on its volunteers incredibly. And every weekend, it takes about 75 to 100 very talented, very committed people uh, to uh, make Calvary function in all the ways that we function. And we've been talking with our volunteers, gauging the temperature of their readiness to come back and serve at a high level. And, uh, and, and so we've kind of given them some extra time to make sure that they are ready to show back up and serve your children and serve your students and, and serve in all the ways they do to make worship happen on campus. And then the third reason that we're waiting until September is one that maybe you hadn't thought about. In fact, uh, it, it kind of is difficult for me to explain, but it really relates to our mission. The mission of Calvary is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus through the love of his people and the power of his truth. That's why we do what we do. And that informs every single decision, including this one. You see, I want to gather with you for worship. You want to gather with us for worship. We want to gather in person for worship uh, because that's what we already love to do because we have a relationship with Jesus. In other words, it's a family gathering and it feels so good when we can sing together and pray together and, and learn together. Uh, but here's the thing, the people who don't know Jesus are watching us and they wanna know, are we more interested in doing what feels good for us or are we more interested in doing what is for their benefit? Uh, and, and in reality, uh, we need to lay aside our desires to gather for worship and we need to think about the people who don't know Jesus that we want to lead to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, I say that knowing full well the Bible commands us to worship. But friends, we can worship uh, all over the place. Worship isn't about a building. It's about us choosing to honor God with our lives. And so let me encourage you to do this. While we're getting ready to relaunch in that you know, in-person worship in Lake Havasu City, can I just encourage you to, to keep remaining engaged with the online worship services. Gather your family together and watch them together. Make it a worship experience in your home. Invite your life group over to your house and you guys worship Jesus together. It's, it's very encouraging. We did it this last weekend. Uh, maybe even invite some of your friends that don't have a church to come and have dinner with you and, and, and get, go to church with you in your home. You see, as we get ready for that, the church is us. It's wherever we are, lifting up Jesus, celebrating his life, death, resurrection, and a return. That, that is our salvation. It's our guarantee of eternal life. And so I just want to encourage you to join us in being patient, to join us in uh, desperately wanting to gather and worship, but to use this moment as an opportunity to plant the seeds of life change in our communities, wherever God has placed us. Now, some of you are really excited about gathering again and you're planning on being there in September 5th and 6th. You're ready to kick it off and do it right now. Others of you, uh, you're not ready yet. That's okay because we're an online campus as well as in-person worship. And, uh, and so however you choose to worship God and be a part of Calvary, we're gonna rejoice in that. So Calvary, thanks for your prayers. We're praying for you. We're excited about regathering in September. Until then, let's endure well, let's smile, let's bless those around us, and let's lift up the name of Jesus. God bless. Have a great day.